we're gonna jump we've been jumping around we've been doing offshore species we've been doing shore-based species now we're gonna do one of probably in my opinion it's open to open thing my favorite estuarine species now there's a big list there but this this is it for me and that's the oxide tarpon megalops so the same genus as your atlantic uh, your your big your big tarpon your main guide you see in all those fly fishing things and on, on the covers of the magazines uh, that's atlanticus this is megalops cyprinoides now megalops means large eye obviously ox eye it comes from it's got the eye the size of an ox big 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 eye for its size and then cyprinoides is carp like now where they came up with that i'm not 100 percent sure maybe it's the scaling pattern um but yeah drugs were a lot more legal back then so maybe something happened anyway uh, tropical Indo-West Pacific, you're going to find them mainly here, KZN, maybe into the Transkei estuaries a little bit, but more on this upper tropical side of things, they are a tropical species. Now, you're, as we mentioned, very similar to a tarpon, a lot of people have seen them in books and magazines, they've got extremely large eyes for their size, extremely large scales for their size, and they, they're a very hardened scale, so it's something that's difficult to they, they, they designed like that for protection so they can bang against anything and it's not going to damage them uh, you'll see when you catch them sometimes if the scale does come off you'll see i mean fish that size scale they, they're gigantic for this size um, shape wise it's, it's, it's a difficult difficult species to describe but they've got little extensions on their dorsal fins quite a large tail very very big mouth the, um, some of the guys that have, if you've ever watched videos of, of anglers catching them, the best way to describe them is they've been chiseled out of ice. They've got this beautiful sheen to them in the water. They're just, they're, they're a phenomenally beautiful species. Um, but yeah, very iconic. We'll see, maybe we get some nice photos of them. You, you'll get that sort of, that reflection coming off. Now, the, got distracted, sorry. They just, they, they get me going. Um, in terms of your tagging, your movements, and that kind of thing, so movements we generally base on on our on the tagging projects because it's very difficult to judge where a fish has gone to. You can't just ask it. So they have tagged quite a few speed, quite a few of these uh, oxide tarpon. There have been zero recaptures. So whether that means that there's a big enough population that we're not catching the same fish again and again, or whether that means that the guys tagging them aren't handling them very well or that it's a very fragile species and that when they're being let go they're actually not surviving that's up to debate um, they are quite a fragile species in my mind they they don't like even though with those hard hard fins they they i mean hard scales they are very 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 strong fighters they they don't give up right until you've landed them so it's a species that obviously is very iconic targeted by a lot of people, especially the ultralight estuary enthusiast, which I, I confess to being. Um, and that's where you're going to be getting them. On fly, they are phenomenal species. They jump multiple times. I mean, I've caught even the smaller guys and they've jumped 10 times in a single fight. Now, they've got a very hard jaw, similar to a tarpon, so you're going to be wanting using very, very sharp hooks. When I say similar to a tarpon, similar to Atlanticus, the, the, the big tarpon. Um, very sharp hooks and every jump your heart just goes into your mouth because you could shake the hook I mean last season I had Once I'd landed the first my first tarpon for for the season at, I think I was 13 to 1 so that's 14 fish hooked one landed 13 lost so it just kind of shows you it's one of those species that To put into Afrikaans will get you the mood it's they they really get your it's, it's, it's a testing fish, it's almost like playing golf. It's, you keep, keep slicing the ball until you hit the perfect shot. So, yeah. But when you do land that fish, when you see how beautiful they are, when you get that accomplishment, it really, it really is worth all the, all the anger and all the, the lost fish. Now, with their, their feeding habits, they are a diurnal predator, which means they like to feed at night. So during the day, they like to stay in the, the darker areas, in the mangroves, which is where you're going to find them estuary mangroves that kind of swampy swampy type style the with their big eye they're very sensitive to light so they're very good hunters at night so they're going to be feeding on pretty much anything they can get their their mouth around 
They particularly like crustaceans, so swimming prawns, high up on their list. Smaller fish species, high up on their list, little squid. So in the estuaries, bay squid, <whistles> tops. Um, they're a species that grows quite slowly. The SA record is 5.7 kilos, and you can get to a fish of about a meter, but most of them are a lot smaller than that. And the oldest recorded fish that's been recorded on this list was 44 years old. Now, if you think about that, that's 44 years that species, or that fish itself, has been swimming around and hasn't been caught in evaded capture. So, whether the population is big, ah. Uh, yeah, maybe that's that's why it keeps it protected. But they're also quite a fickle species. So like we say, you, you hook quite a few, and you very rarely actually land that number of fish. So the limit is 10 per person per day without a size limit. But I really, really ask that you release all the fish you catch. They are not nice to eat. Um, they're very scaly. There's not a lot of meat on the actual fish itself, and it's really a lot more fun as a sport fish, a fish to catch and release. Um, and seeing that fish swims off gives you more pleasure than actually eating it. Rather go past the McDonald's on your way home. Um, the populations have been reduced by mainly pollution. Like we said, they are an estuarine species, so may, the main thing that affects all the estuarine species is not actually overfishing. It's not the gill nets, it's pollution. Pollution gets pumped in, destroys that habitat, makes it unlivable for the fish, means they cannot breed in there, the juveniles can't live often kills the, the adults can move out into the sea they can still survive there but all the juveniles are getting killed out so as soon as you get to an estuary it gets polluted to a point where they can't actually live in there that's their habitat gone so the overfishing yes is very is a very detrimental thing the gill netting is a terrible thing it is banned it's illegal you're not allowed to do it um, that's something we really need to focus on that's a different story but pollution don't throw your packets away don't pour your oil into the sink um, get rid of your stuff properly and we can maybe try and curb this it's more of a commercial issue but um, we can only we can do the best we can remember one small drop you just that little drop but there are tens of thousands of people that are going to be with you so anyway enough of that point the oxide tarpon beautiful fish lovely lovely light tackle sport fish it, you're going to be fishing for them at night mainly so you need two main colors white and black you use your black flies it gets a nice dark very big profile, very nice to see. Something with a lot of movement, your um, little white pedal tails are probably the best lure I've found if you're gonna be spinning for them. If you're gonna be fly fishing for them, a small white deceiver is very, very good for them. Otherwise, Ben Pretorius' Black Knight works very well for them as well. And anything that's got the hackle tails at the back, it's gonna give a little bit of a kick, a little bit of a vibration. So that's why we say pedal tails as well. Um, yeah, overall, a lovely species very very good to catch a lot of fun to to fight and the lighter attack you can go the better so yeah oxide tarpon uh, my favorite estuarine species and the species you have to have on your list cheers